What's going on guys? So tragically, absolutely tragically, I lost that last game with that other team and I just was about to like, it's the same night, I just literally just recorded it and it just wasn't exciting enough to upload. I got one hit the whole game. I got one hit the whole game so I figured I'm going to upload the draft today and then I'll do two, um, I'll do two games tomorrow in the video. Two or three, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet but tonight I am just going to be doing the draft. Uh, I just don't have enough time and I got to be up really early in the morning. This is going to be a completely normal draft too. We're not doing anything special. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do. And here's why I'm at a predicament, you guys. This is this is why I'm at a predicament. Tony Gwynn is my favorite all-time player, pretty much. And it is cause it's because of my cousin. He watched my video and he he kind of introduced me to Tony Gwynn, got me an autographed ball. Because he coached my cousin at San Diego State. Um, when he used to coach there, when he used to play. So I and I want I don't really like A-Rod, but I know Tony Gwynn's not the best pick. It's just I've been dying to use him this whole year, and you guys gotta understand that. You're gonna be mad at me for not taking A-Rod, just for like that pure power. Oh my gosh, look at that card. But I gotta go with my guy, Tony Gwynn here. Uh, that's a sweet, I'm still really glad that I got him. Okay, here we're gonna go with, I'm gonna make sure I think about this. Grant Green, I'm gonna go with a starting pitcher. I don't know if you wanna waste a starting pitcher there. I'm gonna take Grant Green, second baseman. He's not gonna get to play, and that was a pretty terrible round. Oh, here we go. Pablo, AJ Przinski. Okay, Pablo's got some sweet stats. So does Kenny Lofton, but Pablo's got that power. And for me, I'm not a great, like, I'm not that good of a hitter. So for me, like, if I can just get a few home runs in the game, there's a good chance I'll win because my pitching's been pretty good. Uh, John Gray pitched against the Blue Jays today. I'm going to give him a shot. Uh, he pitched pretty decent against them. Okay, Fred McGriff is always really good. Uh, Addison Russell, but Fred McGriff has, has really good contact versus right. And really good power versus right. So I'm not going to say to hit it. Oh, and we got a flashback. Joe Mauer. Look at that. 99 contact versus right. And like nothing the other way. Or do I take Jonathan Villar? I really... I'm going to take Villar. Honestly, just because I shortstop. I, I had him in that last game. And he was really, really good. Uh, here, Leonis Martin. He's a fast. Really, really fast. I could definitely bump with him. Or do I take Colby Rasmus for kind of the upgraded power? I haven't used Leonis Martin yet, so I am going to take him. I might regret not taking Colby Rasmus because I have hit a lot of home runs with him. Uh, catcher, I'm going to take Cameron Rupp. Not really sure that he'll get to play. So he's now, when you see a guy twice, they want you to pick him. So I'm going to take Trace Thompson now. Got to take him. Tristan Thompson's brother. Uh, okay, let's get some pitching going here. Ryan Dahl, David Hale. Or Carlos Frias. Let's take Carlos Frias. I don't. You, the starting pitchers aren't as important as people like like to think they are. They're pretty important, but you only, you want to go relievers. Let's take Doolittle here rather than a starter because you can. I can use Doolittle every single game, just like this round. Let's take a closer. Um, let's take Pedro Strop rather than James Shields. I'd say. I think I think that's a good decision. He does. He throws really really hard. Pedro Strop. Uh, Al Andrew Alberts. He used to play for the Jays. I don't even know who that is. So obviously he was never that great. Travis Wood or Seth. Let's take Bobby Parnell. Let's take a risk. I had a, I had a hunch about Bobby Parnell that he's gonna do something special. Let's take Miguel Gonzalez. We're just filling the, the pitchers here, and now we got a chance at Clayton Kershaw. Oh, that's a two thousand. That's a flashback Kershaw or Greg Holland. See, this is where the the situation for me is I'm trying to learn every time I do this. Chances of me getting to use that Kershaw are low, so I'm going to go with the Greg Holland. It's a questionable decision. A lot of people are going to think it's really stupid, but honestly, if I can just stack a bullpen, it's going to be tough for this guy to hit me, and Greg Holland is a really, really good pitcher. Here, let's take Mike. Do I want Mike Dunn? Yeah, we'll take Mike Dunn. That's a 78 overall reliever. That guy can definitely get it done if I need him. No pun intended. Oh, that was funny. Okay, let's take, we got Rex Brothers. He's a new guy. Uh, relief pitcher, Vinny Pastano. Look at the, look at that K per nine. He's got some ridiculous K per nine. Uh, okay, Roberto Hernandez, Colin Ray, or Bud, let's take Bud Norris. Bud Norris, okay, round 20. I, I assume our gold round's coming. Uh, Wee Ying Chin. I kind of want to take him. I kind of just want to take him. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Our last gold round. We got Carlos Santana, AJ Przinski, uh, Coco Crisp, and Carlos Correa. I think we are going to be going with Carlos Santana oh, or AJ Przinski. AJ Przinski, look at that power. But Santana's a good catcher too. Which way does he hit? He's a switcher. I'm going with Carlos Santana. 
Sorry, that's a good player right there. That's hard to say no to. Brandon Geyer here. Uh, Craig Gentry. I'm going to take Gentry just because he can bunt and he can run. You can't really underestimate the like value of that. This is a sweet card. Look at that. Justin Ruggiano. That's sweet. I don't know if I need a center fielder, but look at those stats. Look at those contact stats. How can I say no to that? You just can't. I'll take Eduardo Escobar. He hit really good for me last time. This, this draft has turned out to be pretty awesome, actually. Uh, Brett Wallace. Let's see. Who's got the best contact? These are all guys like pinch hitting guys. Brett Wallace, if we're facing a righty, is going to do really well. Okay, let's set our lineup. And then I will see you guys next video. So Tony Gwynn is obviously going to be leading off for me. Uh, I think I'm going to put Pablo 3. Fred McGriff 2 looks pretty good. Now I got to get the guys. I need Carlos Santana instead of Cameron Roop. And he can hit in the 4 spot. And then these guys can all just kind of fill in behind. But Tony Gwynn is going to be my leadoff hitter. I cannot wait to play with him. Let's try and get this video to a 500 likes. And I will upload, let's say, actually, let's, let's aim high. 1,000 likes. And I will do a video with three games in one. We will have three games in one, assuming I win one. Honestly, you guys know me. It could be one. But let's aim for 1,000 likes for three, three games in one. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video.